there was another blow up at my mother's house. I was so mad I forgot how it started. But the first part of it I wasn't there. And this asshole, my brother, told my mother, you get the hell out of here. Like it's his house. But for this time, I'm proud of my mom. She stood her ground. She ran him into his room. She had enough. So it's a cycle now. When it gets hot and heavy, he turns tail and runs, stays quiet for a long, long time, avoids everyone. But slowly and surely, he'll come back and start the same shit again. And I don't know why I keep falling into it, but I did. Today, it was very hot, over 100 degrees heat index. I came under the cool port after cutting my mom's yard. Then he walks in the garage with a silly grin and tells me that he could outwork me on his exercise equipment. I know it sounds weird, and I know it sounds like nothing. But what's the point of that? What point is he trying to make? That he's better than me somehow? That he can outwork me on his exercise equipment? I, w I was so blindsided I didn't know what to say. I was, you know, whatever. And then when he said it, he stared at me to look for a reaction. And, I, you know, I started to get that sickening feeling again. And before that... He has an ice box full of Power Raid, all colors. He gives me one when he wants something. I remember those times because it's rare. So I just, you know, asked. Didn't think it'd be a good deal. I said, "Man, I could really use one of those Power Raids, any color." He didn't answer, but he said, "What you're drinking right there? That's very healthy." So he was stingy, didn't want to give me one of his power raids. He had an ice box full of them. I know it's hard to put this into words, and it doesn't sound like a lot when I'm explaining it. But the bottom line is, when I got home, I was furious. And I told myself, he did it to me again. He got under my skin, and he has me all flustered and pissed off. They set a trap. If you deviate from what they want to talk about, they will tear it apart and criticize you. It's a no-win situation, and I keep falling for it. You know, I really wasn't thinking. I was tired. I was drinking water in the garage. Just acting naturally, human to human. I guess wanting to bond. Big mistake. And the thing is, when this was going on, my mom walked into the garage. And we started having a nice conversation. He made the weirdest face and got up and left and did some kind of a shoulder shrug or something. I just had to get it off my chest. He got me again. How can I prepare for the next time? Don't walk into the trap. <laughs>